the more. Gotcha. So we got some missions here. I mean, not much difference. And I almost forget to equip the Raging Inferno Flop. Shame on you. Yeah. Also, we got the Atlas Strength, which is very useful for this next Murray mission. Atlas Strength? Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean... Okay, so basically what it does is that we can run around with dudes and jump with dudes while still holding them. Neat. So yeah, it's pretty useful. Sounds like though. Do you, yeah. do you get Atlas Strength from training a lot? Or just by holding up the earth? Um, you get Atlas Strength from uh, eating a bunch of... Oh, it was some bunch of items, and then save, save scumming, and then eating an item again, and then you get in, in, infinite strength. I did not understand that reference. I think is... it was Secret of Secret of Evermore, which is like the most hilariously wow. broken okay, game. Okay, that is much more obscure than you know Charles Atlas and or the Greek <laughs> mythical figure of Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured. Also, what happens if you shrug? Do you write a terrible novel if you do? Uh, no, you become Ayn Rand. You just become Ayn Rand. You don't need to write a novel. <laughs> How is that different from what I said? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way. As a projectile. Wow. That is handy. Yeah, it's like he's only weak to two things. Water, which is like 70% of the Earth. Like the aliens from Almonds. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I think it was implied that the aliens from Almond, from uh, Almonds were weak to the water that the kid had drunk and the kid was implied to be an angel so hmm. what I'm trying to say is that Almonds was a shit film <laughs> also Club Potatoes talks a lot so I won't listen to him to a while because he's silly <laughs> look at him flailing around waggling. like he's playing a Wii <laughs> <laughs> now I did not expect a Wii reference in there I'm sorry I I've got it all I've got it all dude <laughs> Did you see? Yeah, he just talks randomly while we're carrying him. I'm not sure putting a senile old man in charge of security is the best idea. Well, you know, it's hard to break through him. I say that, even though we're gonna very easily um, break through yeah, him. Yeah, but he's not at the door. Well, he's not. He's also not the wall, I guess. Yeah, and he's just the head of security, which is not exactly a position which requires strength so much as... Mental capacities. <coughs> well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs> He's not a scum, I'm... he's a soldier. He, he was a soldier and now he's a hired soldier. That is not a scoundrel at all. Well, your job, you shut up mentally. I guess. Yeah, I argued with a video of a video game being played. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, Han Solo is a scoundrel. Ah, but he's charming. I mean, he isn't that Rendar, but he's charming. He's second best. Well, third best behind Lando. <laughs> that is true. Also, at this point, I've forgotten my keys, so I need to look them up again. Speaking of Lando, I saw like a movie the other day, and it was good. Oh, yeah, which one? Lego movie. Ah. There's not oh. exactly many of them. <laughs> no. No, there's not. Well, and I even noticed there, there, that there, there was... are those Bionicle movies, I guess. Yeah, but it's not the Lego movie. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. 
That's it. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow. Sounds easy. Not really. Bad mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow. Sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the Mind Shuffler. So here we have some paintings and here have Badger Mojo Collector. Wait, that was totally not Baron Samadhi. Hey, folks! Yeah. Totally not. Nope. But yeah, this mission is actually pretty interesting, I must say. Like, it's a bit hard. But it's, you know, you have to avoid stuff, I guess. And also think about when you have to use the items or not. And the switches and whatnot. That is you usually want to try and get at least two at every... At least at this first point, you want to try to, use, to get at least two guards every time. Unless you can't avoid it because you'd be attacked, I guess. Well, yeah. But at that point you're already lost. You have already lost, I mean. You have already lost. Damn it, Kenshiro. <laughs> Speaking of Kenshiro, have you, you haven't, have you read Hoku, Hokuto no Gun? Uh, no, uh, Hokuto, no, I haven't read the Fist of the North IRA, IRS audit. <laughs> It is the greatest manga, though, seriously. I'm s oh, no, wait, I have. Uh, first chapter. Mm. It was up to where Hokutona Gun had translated. I, th I still feel that Hokutona Gun is the dude who did the translation. Correct mm. me if I'm wrong in my knowledge of Japanese uh, comics about muscular men kidnapping and people who are honest businessmen. <laughs> that is literally the plot. The plot. There is a plot. I, I didn't know that there is. Uh, but presumably. Big, big muscular dudes trying to weasel out of get, not paying money. No way, he was a big muscular dude pulling no, a dude who wanted to expose the company. No, it's, he wanted to s stop people cheating money, I think it was. Yes. Oh, That's what I said. Well, it was. Whatever. So this mission is a bit different, or oh, well, this room is a bit different, you have more tools to play with. If you all mess up too bad, you have to go back here and there's a fire. Oh well, a crusher actually, I'm messing things up. So let's speed things up. It goes a bit longer this time around. And it looks more boring than the previous one actually, despite the more tools. Well, it's more... Uh, how do you say it? It's more intense. I was, but it's you know not the most interesting thing I guess. It's not very fast either. It goes a very long, goes on for a very long time. Yeah, that's why. Like, yeah, definitely benefits no. from the speed up. Yeah. Excellent. Another chamber. Excellent. <laughs> Get you on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So yeah, two out of four rooms to go. These rooms are pretty spread out too. Like, it's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. I it's mean, like, more okay. interesting than having them all in the same room and just pressing different consoles. Yeah, well, I mean. And it's not like getting around is a huge issue. Well, not in this level, I guess. Which I was gonna say, like, I do like this level because it's not unlike the last level. It doesn't feel as terrible trying to get into the um, castle area. Here it's, I mean, yeah, it's two islands, but they're 
most of parts you're just kept to one island. I mean, doing stuff. And here's an interesting tombstone. Rip. Rocket. Yeah. And there's a face there. Hmm. Oh. What could this mean? Knowing tombstones in games, it's a, it's a joke. Either it, a joke. I, I, it's or... actually it's actually more than that, and I will explain it later because there's another thing cons combined with that tombstone later uh, in this okay. video. In Fallout, though, it's... I know that tombstones are generally members of the dev team. <laughs> wow. Okay. Which is kind of macabre. Yeah, yeah. So here we have um, two crushers. This big button mill that puts everyone to sleep, which is supposed to be like saving grace, I suppose. And if you mess up too bad, there's this fire pit. Take that. Oh, well, not fire pit, but you know, placer, whatever you want to call it. You shoot in just... the face. No, no, I gotta use the Swedish man. I mean, you know, I mean, look at this. Yeah, I can't bet. I, I, I sh probably should try to get more money and get Bentley's uh, next item before this, because I could have made things a bit more easier, I guess. But I uh, didn't think of it when I was recording this. That is because you are bad at video games. I'm sorry. Said the man who has never finished his favorite game of all time, but yeah. <sighs> Which game is that? I just sent you another waypoint. Is it Wipeout 3? It's Fallout 2. See you guys. Also, he's just, like, standing on one foot there. So, this mission is very different from the others. It's much, much more fast paced. That'll hurt. But, oh, I mean. Brilliant. Yeah, it's. You know, you alternate between these three, and if you... It's, it's kind of like a rhythm game, I guess. You gotta get into the rhythm. You go back and forth, back and forth. And if you do miss the rhythm, there's the ch giant shocker. Shocker? Yeah, like the, like the Spider-Man villain. Aw, oh, man, I was hoping you'd go with a good reference. Oh, which one? The show era Kamen Rider villains. All right, the I, well, I, I don't watch your dumb shows for children. I'm going to argue with the dumb part, but not with the for children part. <laughs> well, Japanese children, then, I guess, which are apparently, like, not as... No, you don't understand. The show is about the man in spandex kicking dudes in the face. The spaceman in spandex <laughs> putting on colorful switches. They're totally mature for mature adults like myself and not for children. <laughs> it's because Japan is such a glorious country. And it's Are you done? Not, it's not dumb like us, Baka Gaijin. <laughs> okay, I'm oh done. my god. So I should probably mention that at this point, well, before this point, I had been basically been recording for like half a, more like a day. So I had to actually, so my, at this point my PS3 actually froze. And I couldn't record anything. Sounds like fun. And smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Sounds vaguely heroic. I, li I like Sly's attitude. Mm -hmm. Well, gonna free trap souls. Yeah. We lost souls. Dark souls, too. Prepare to sly. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to sly harder. Now we now an achievement in the game. So we have these statues here. They'll be important later. Well actually they those won't. Interesting thing about these uh, sickles here, you can actually you can see you can actually grab onto these. It will go a lot slower, but you can, and it's safer. <laughs> that sounds like a design flaw. Well, we put yeah. these machines of death so that nobody would come in, and they can use them to come in. Yeah. I mean, I don't 
know whose design probably was, if it was the design of this cast or if it was the game designers. Since I think the game designers also designed this castle, I think that we can put them up as a design flaw on behalf of the designers of Crypt. <laughs> My verisimilitude in this funny animal talking fighting game is ruined. So yeah, there was like 10 ghosts in that one crypt. Actually no, 9 ghosts in that one crypt. Nice work. And one of them goes the other way. Yeah. He's the weird one, we don't talk about him. Oh hey guys, where are you going? It's this way. Fuck you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till guys come back, I love you! <laughs> Damn it, Bill. The imager in your to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry, it's only a short term confinement. Gather all the ghosts. Then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. <laughs> So if you go back down to the crypt here and you destroy the right uh, wolf statues, not these ones over here, you don't, I don't think you actually need to destroy these ones over here, but you destroy... They didn't have a green glow when you destroyed them, so... Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. What matters is if you have to stand on this, on one of these pillars, like this one. Well, except, except, well, this one in particular you have to stand on. You turn around, and... Ghosts! <gasps> oh, it's a raccoon! The it's a beaver, actually. No, it's a raccoon. Oh, okay. But it's a PS1 raccoon, so it... No, actually, it's an N64 raccoon. And I if it's on the... Uh, to an older... To an older game? Why, you're exactly right, Sir Proth. Wait, is that... It's... That looks like Marvin the Martian. No, it was Rocket. So, uh, Rocket and that raccoon over there, Jojo, was actually... Is R actually reference reference to uh, un, uh, oh Sucker Punch's first game Rocket Raccoon on Wheel no Rocket Robot on Wheels I've heard of that which one. Had, yeah there was also reference to that one back in um, the graveyard yeah no actually in the first level of the game also yeah speeding things up here because whatever so yeah but yeah like those are references and also, was there a coons named Jojo. The raccoon was named Jojo, and the ro and the uh, robot was named Rocket. A robot versus a raccoon. Okay, obligatory Jojo's Bizarre Adventure reference. Let's move it's on. Actually to that now. It's actually kind of bizarre because it's you know the reference reference is actually. No, I mean I was going to make one. Yeah, well let's. Okay, yeah, it's not a reference, but in the first game, in the first like game, it was a raccoon against the robot, and in. Rocket Raccoon and Rocket Robot on Wheels, it was a robot against a raccoon. So what I'm trying to say is that Sucker Punch has no imagination. Well... Why? It's, it's a novel concept. Well, yes, I guess. I guess they're gonna make another series, though. It's gonna be a robot against a raccoon robot. No, no, but, and but then against the human. Now see, a, ro a robot against a raccoon robot against a human robot. <gasps> With superhuman powers. Also, these tanks. I swear to god. Sounds like the latest WWE storylines. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling is dumb. Hey. <laughs> did, you, did you get killed? Yes, yes I did. did. Also, I haven't been talking about this remix enough. This remix is great. You got zapped. You got zapped again, and you fell in the water. Yeah, you got zapped. but this time it didn't. Great, y you got hit like three times in one rope? No, <laughs> shut up, I did not, I was perfect. I did not, I did not hit him. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for the rock. Where's he ghost? Come up, ghost. I know you're there, ghost. Oh, there you are. Oh. This is all too spooky for me. Yeah, he's hiding. I am seriously not going to sleep tonight. 
Oh my god, it's ghosts, I swear to god. Yeah, the worst, they were ghost dogs. I think. No, they were wolves. Like she was an evil wolf princess. Oh, oh, right. Oops. It's confirmed. Sir Proth no remembers more than me. Oh no, this is definitely too spooky. So the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Oh, I'm definitely not spooked enough to attack with fucking bombers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, fellas. Let's get down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out!